Howdy everyone, it's me once again, the one and only Killer Rodan. And today, as you can see, I'm still continuing my Disney movie marathon by talking about the movies, franchises, theme parks, whatever, I guess. So for this case, I'll be reviewing the film titled Yeah, Heavyweight. Yeah, that one movie that centers around the idea that there's these kids that get sent away to like fat camp or something. And of course, there's going to be a bunch of shenanigans. Well, of course, of course, of course. I've uh, been meaning to review this movie anyway, so it just uh, since I'm still talking about Disney and whatnot, here we go. Might as well. So, yeah. Hey, uh, yeah. All right. So, I'm reviewing a comedy movie. Even though I don't review comedy movies that often, really. I don't mind jokes. I don't mind humor. It's just, it just seems kind of strange. I don't talk about uh, comedies that often come to think about it. Anyway, I've been meaning to review this, like I was saying, because it's on my to-do list. I don't technically... It's a, it's a notebook, but kind of to-do list anyway, because I have a lot of stuff to talk about. I mean, to mean quite a bit. Anyway, as usual... I have to talk about the plot, so let's get into it, I guess. So here we go. So anyway, yeah, like I was saying, this film pretty much centers around the idea that there's this fat cat. Yeah, we're going to follow this storyline, folks. A fat cat for kids. I just put him as uh, taken over by a fitness guru, of course, named Tony. And now, of course, he's going to be pretty chaotic and whatnot. When school ends for the summer, let's just say um, those kids are sent are sent here for some weight from for the weight losing, of course, weight loss. What do you want to call it? For this type of camp, of course, for boys. And obviously, as you can guess for yourself, um, they don't like it. They don't like the idea here. So. What proceeds to happen is that they want to trick the parents, of course. They yeah, lie. So they do, they turn into like a, a front, uh, turn and disguise what they're doing, really. And yeah, they just lie what they're trying to do. They try pretty much want to relax. And in some ways, I guess it doesn't turn out too bad because they do get to do what they want. And pretty much do that. They do turn on give an illusion that they're trying to lose weight or trying to do this trying to do that to the parents so the parents would you know not be none the wiser because that's how kids are they don't want to do the difficult things in life well, at least a lot of them don't anyway so um so yeah of course the um the kids already are going to pretty much be friend each other and whatnot and um so yeah there's gonna be some someone helping them out of course Obviously, and make sure everything will go just fine. But at the end of the day, we know what's going to happen. This lie that they're um, doing, that's going to bite me ass. We all know that's going to happen. But anyway, that's pretty much uh, the idea here, folks. They try to make the most of a bad situation, I guess you could say. So there was that, I suppose. But yeah, all in all, I can say this was pretty good. I liked it. And the jokes were nice. Why the premise here doesn't exactly break any new grounds by any means, but it, it does what it's supposed to. You know, it worked for what they're trying to do. And it was entertaining. It was definitely entertaining in its own little way. I like that. Definitely like that history. I can also say that the acting, for the most part, was actually pretty solid. And that's the thing. When it comes to acting, I know when it comes to kids and acting, I, I usually, like I said in my uh, other videos, where uh, I don't want to see kid actors or kid actresses, I'm like, no. Because they can be pretty annoying. And they have been pretty annoying. But thankfully, here, they're, they're, they're passable. They're actually pretty passable. So that's a good thing. But yeah, I don't know. I um I thought it was pretty good. 
so um yeah the the movie is entertaining in the sense that of course the kids going to have their own little journey the kids going to have their own fun and I, I think that's a good thing so you can say that this is definitely one of those um live action movies I'm been meaning to review because I feel like I need to review more live action movies anyway from comes to Disney and yeah this is I guess pretty old nowadays well, it's an old movie, I guess, because it came out in 95. So, yeah. It can be kind of an, a really old movie. But it's definitely one of the better live-action movies I've seen. Still beats some of the other live-action stuff I've, um, I've reviewed. Oh, boy. A lot of the live-action stuff nowadays is just garbage. I'm going to be honest here. <laughs> no. Anyway. But, yeah. I, I liked it. Of course, I enjoyed it. And by the way, folks, in case anyone is wondering where I saw this, it was on Disney Plus, so it's available there. But anyway, aside from that, I mean, but then again, I, I might buy a physical copy of this just to just to collect it, maybe, maybe. I'll see, maybe. Maybe I guess I could do that because I do I actually do collect Disney movies, whether they're good, bad, or somewhere in between. I'll I'll collect it. But, um, you can always buy the bad movies used, I guess. I don't know, whatever. Okay, sidetrack, sidetrack. But anyway, as I was saying, this one, it's it's worth it, I guess. It's worth purchasing. I'm just keeping it in my collection, I guess. So, there was that. Yeah, some of those people that I like to, that still enjoys buying the physical, a uh, physical media. I know. Wow. I don't know nowadays a lot of people don't want to do that. They don't just want to keep the streaming services. But you do you, I guess. When it comes to streaming services, I'm like, eh. I don't care much for them. But anyway. Okay, sidetracking again. But for this movie, I, I liked it. I thought the idea was fine. The jokes land for the most part. But yeah, I liked what was doing going on here. I liked the execution. The way it was delivered, of course. So in the grand scheme of things... I gotta say they actually did a pretty good job here. It's something to see with the with the whole family. It's not one of those movies that people get really offended. But then again, people get really offended over everything nowadays. So, yikes! Probably would have been a totally different movie if it was made nowadays. But anyway, whatever. I'll say check it out if you haven't yet, folks. It's definitely worth a watch. But I'll give this film an overall rating. I have a 7.1 out of 10. It's a 7.1 out of 10 for me. And as always, thanks for watching and take care. Until next time, see ya. Oh yeah, later.